Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> Would somebody pronounce it for me? Arun Sursadai. Arun Sursadai. Yeah. To you all. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to very briefly uh, welcome you to um, the first of our modules um, for Hub for Growth. Um, to tell you a little bit about what the purpose is over the next couple of days. So, for those of you who are in London, you'll know that what we did there was to explore what we mean by enterprise and employability. What are the um, ways in which we can develop employability and enterprise? as our universities. So the overall aim of all of the workshops is to develop and enhance the work that you're doing around employability and enterprise. The first workshop here at the Royal University is specifically to think about what we need to use to develop our plans or our strategies around employability. So that our aims are to understand, to understand how we go about strategic planning, what are the important ingredients in our plans, and to do that, we've identified two main areas. One is to think about the wider context. If you noticed in the film that we've just seen, the wider context is in part shaped by the Ministry of Education. It's partly shaped by international relations and donors. So we're sitting, aren't we, in a centre that in part has come through a collaboration with another country. So we need to think about how those relations, how that context helps to shape what we do in terms of developing our plans for enterprise and employability. And we also need to think not just externally, but internally. We need to think about what's going on in our own institutions, which will vary from institution to institution. So there are peculiarities, differences, between one university and another, different styles of management, different leaderships, different regional economies, different emphases in terms of subject areas, so we need to think about what those differences are and how we can take account of them in developing our plans. So for this particular module, um, we're going to look at information and data and how that's used. And practically, by the end of this module, we would like partners to work with partners to develop an institutional strategy specifically for your own institutions a strategy that will incorporate very specific actions and objectives that we'll come on to talk about in more detail over the next couple of days <clears throat> so in terms of the principles that we'll be working with uh, as we go through the sessions. I think we discussed this briefly in London, um, but our approach will be that we will work with you, that uh, we see the workshop process as a collaborative, cooperative process, which means that there will be opportunities at all stages for interaction and your participation. So it won't be a series of talks, 
which you will listen and just take notes, but there will be opportunities and an, an expectation that you will bring ideas and evidence from your own universities to contribute to the development of our discussions and your plans. So you've already done some work uh, on the project. You've done some excellent case studies of good practice that you'll have seen have been included in the good practice handbook. You've done a needs analysis, which you would also be expected to use to make sense of your particular characteristics and priorities in your universities. And the sessions will be organized in addition to um, talks where you will be asked to and invited to contribute your own experiences. There'll be illustrations from some of the European partner institutions and frameworks. So you will have frameworks to facilitate the development of your own strategies and plans. So those, from our point of view, were the main principles. Are there any other questions or comments that you've got on what this workshop is about? Whether you have any other expectations or hopes for the workshop? Or are there any other principles at this stage that you feel we need to take account of? in our workshop sessions. <laughs>